Joining me here on the Revelator Hotline is Hyro the Hero. What's going on, man? How are you? Yo, what's up, man? Chilling, chilling on the road, man. Back to L.A. Yeah, man, you, you've been on the road. Uh, I, I, how many shows did you guys you did? Like, I don't know, like 25 shows in 30 days or something crazy yeah, with yeah, Nonpoint, yeah, right? Man, that was crazy. Yeah, Nonpoint, P.O.D., Islander, Nine yeah, Shrines. Those shows were epic, insane. I'm talking about the level of energy was crazy, man. That was, yeah. a, I just was so happy to be a part of that. In the middle of that, I was rocking festivals, man. Rocklahoma, Rockville, Epicenter. Crazy. And yeah, I but just you got finished with a dream hack, which is a video game convention. So that was wild. Oh, right on. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not a huge gamer, uh, but are you a PS4 guy or are you, are you a, a Xbox guy? Oh, man, I'm a Sega guy because I ain't ah. played games in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I feel you. I'm old school like that too, man. You know, kids out there listening to be like, Sega, what? What the hell is that? No. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Well, cool, man. You know, I, I was really excited to see you on this tour with Nonpoint. You know, Elias and those dudes, they've been on the show a bunch, and, and they've been really big supporters of us. And you know, obviously, P.O.D., I mean, those guys are, are legends in oh, the Southern yeah, California man. scene, you know. So, um, are, are you, I mean, you're all over the place, man. I guess I, I first really, I mean, I heard about you, but the first I really heard, like, a lot of buzz about you was Shiprock this year. I want to say, like, late January, right? And I had a friend who was a oh, photog- yeah. has a photographer on, on the boat, and uh, she got back, and she was like, man, she was like, she's like, you have to get Hyro on the show. This dude is legit, right? And I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. You know, I'm always looking for, for you know, new fresh, new fresh stuff, you know? And I heard you, I was like, dude, this dude is legit man and you know the the photos from the nashville show we had a photographer out there catching you jumping off stuff all jumping all over the place man you know scrapping on stage i mean uh dude it's got it's got to feel really good you know i know you've been you know it's not like you just like this overnight success man you've been at this for you know almost almost a decade i mean you really started your career back in you know 2007 2008 so you know when you're looking back that far to to get you know the some recognition finally at this point what's that feel like for you man Oh, bro, it's absolutely amazing. And like you said, man, Shiprock, those people were excellent. And they really kind of, you know, started the wave and the talk, too, for everything, you know. So I really enjoyed that because when they see me perform and they see us perform, it's just you seeing that whole struggle and everything from, you know, when I first started and that point of grinding for people to hear. So I guess that energy comes across and comes through, man. And that's what gives it the epic feeling when we on stage. Yeah, well, well, there's something genuine about you, man. That it's it doesn't you know sound forced. Well, as you hear like you know the, the rap rock stuff, it seems like you know people are trying to emulate Limp Bizkit or whoever you want to put in that yeah. category. You know, uh, when I heard you, it, it does it feel it's just something really genuine about you, man, both vocally and, and musically as well in in your band. But uh, I know on Shiprock you were you know doing some some collaboration stuff on stage with Elias and that. So talk to me like you know how did that come to be? Did he like approach you? Was like, hey man, I want you to come up and do you know, do some shit with Nonpoint on stage. Is that kind of how, how it went down? Yeah, yeah, man. He just hit me up on a message, man. Well, I met Rob at uh, when I was on tour with Butcher Babies, and he just, man, he said, I got so much love for you and what you're doing. And that, he's like, man, let's connect. And, you know, he was really about it, man. We connected, man, and we got down, and he knew he was going ship rock. And then Elias hit me up, like, bro, you got to come on stage, sing Chaos and Earthquakes. I'm like, you got to tell me twice, man. So that's how that <laughs> happened. Got up there and just killed it, man. Hell yeah, man. Now, uh, on this tour with, with Nonpoint, P.O.D., Islander, uh, another f- freaking fantastic band, too, man. Um, did you guys do a little collaboration on stage a little bit? Or was, you know, with, with set times, I know sometimes that could be kind of tricky, but did you get a chance to kind of go out with P.O.D. and Nonpoint on stage for a song or two during this tour and all? Nah, I didn't get to on this one. Cause you, like, you know, the hustle and bustle of doing right. everything, you know, loading in and doing all this extra stuff, so... It made it hard, but at the end, I did get to join Islander up there for Darkness, that song, so that was a sick, nice. cool moment. You know, young bands come together and do that. But, I, I mean, at the end of the day, too, I'm sitting there watching. <laughs> I, yeah, man. I like checking Nine Point and P.O.D. out, so... Yeah, but well, I mean, those those bands have been around for I don't know, maybe both twenty years plus, you know, and have sold millions of albums, Grammy nominations. You know, the list goes on there as far as accolades exactly. are concerned. You know, is there something that you you know sitting back, you know, even though you're not a new artist by any means, but you know, you know, as far as the come up is concerned, you kind of sit back and watch like the the daily ins and outs as far as load in, load out, how they handle their social media and all those different things. Is yeah. there something you pick up from that? You know, just kind of sitting back and watching. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I just see, you know, 
where we at the level. I'm in the van and kind of stuff like that. So I'm definitely here at Nine Point and POD and the buses. So it's all motivation <laughs> to get to that level right there. So I love it. I love um, the whole hustle and bus because, I mean, you come, you see me helping my band load in gear and do all that kind of stuff. So all of that is just all respect and love to get to the level. <laughs> my boy Troy laughed because he said I don't help. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's singers, man. I mean, you know, the singer, singers, yeah. that's why you're a singer, man. You know, you carry the, you know, drummers. Are, everyone wants to play drums, right, until they get in a band, they go on tour, and then they realize they got to carry the yeah. most shit, you know? And they're like, wait a second, I should have been a singer, you know? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's seen me once or twice lift up a snare or something. So, you know, I felt part of the process. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those bass toms and the cymbals, the cymbal bag, that shit's heavy, man. You know, like, oh, you're part of oh, that, yeah. man. <laughs> now, oh, you, yeah. Oh, yeah. You always... You, I think collaboration is you know is a big thing, and I don't want to get off on a big topic here as far as you know people talk about you know rock is dead, blah blah blah, all that bullshit. But like, I think collaboration pays a big key in that because I think a lot of rappers and stuff are always you know doing the mixtapes and, and are oh, collaborating yeah. with one another, right? And I don't think enough people in rock and metal do that. And I noticed you did the remix with Wilson, which I, I fucking love those dudes, man. Those guys rock with "Fuck Up My High." Fantastic job on that in the in the van or wherever you guys recorded that. It's a cool video as well. Oh, hell yeah. Um, and you got a there's another band you collaborate with out of New Jersey called. Concrete Dream, I think if I got that right, uh, you're you're on oh, one yeah, of their Concrete tracks as well, right? Dream. Yeah, Pit Trap, super dope, man, super dope band, Wilson, super cool guys. I, mean, I just love the whole collaboration thing because I mean I'm able to do that, being who I am as a rapper and doing rock, I can go to different bands and just make songs. So yeah. that's fucking dope, you know. Yeah, but I think that's key, man, and I think that allows you know for for people to kind of get back into the the metal scene, kind of you know what you know digging back really far, you know, Aerosmith, Run DMC, that kind of crossover. Oh, I think we yeah, need that yeah. now more than ever, I think, you know, because there seems to be everything's kind of divided. Everyone's like, oh, you're in this genre, you're in that genre. And I say, fuck all that shit. Like, let's let's get together and do something cool, you know? Oh, yeah, man, especially in this day and age, man. These kids listen to everything. Yeah. It's not just one set genre they listen to. It's a mixture of it all. So I really love how it is nowadays. So it's only right to go and connect. Like when I made that song with Crank That Monster, EDM style, you know, that's like sick, man, for me to be able to do that and still have roots in rock. And still, you know, I can go mess with Asking Alexander. I can go mess with all these other cats. You know, I got a lot of cool stuff happening and collaborations coming. that will be amazing soon. And I can't wait for y'all to, you know, check this stuff out. Now you mentioned you're on the way back to LA right now. I don't know. Can you mention anything right now as far as collaborations concerned, or is it kind of still in that like that limbo phase where you can't oh, mention yeah. it? Yeah, the limbo phase really. But <laughs> it's just you know cool beans. I post pictures and stuff when I'm out there creating. So if you look at my Instagram, you'll see. Oh, you might have something cooking, but you know. All right. So that's cool. I wish I could speak on it, but when I say the stuff is insane, oh man, bro, the energy's crazy. Well, you're just gonna have to come back on the show, man. Once that stuff comes to fruition, and 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 then we can speak about oh, it. Oh yeah, man. yeah. You know, so that's yeah, all right. That always happens. Of like, you know, we want to talk about everything that's going on. Are you looking at like another EP as well, or just more collaboration stuff? Can you mention that or no? Oh yeah, we're on uh, this new album stuff. You know, songs okay. that might still come from new album. So, I like this album, people love. And I love it, but when I say the new stuff I'm working on, oh, man, it's like, damn, can we take it to another level? We will, and we did. So I can't wait, man. Oh, There's nice, only more dude. to come, so I'm still working. Only one of the best of the best. That's fantastic, man. I'm looking forward to it. I wish nothing for the best for you, man. I, uh, for everything I've read about you and have seen and heard from you, whether you know it be photos that you know one of our guys took at Nashville show, which you know people are still talking about it, man. Like a week later, like I was at the Wilson show, they came back through and like people were like, man, were you at the High Rose show, man? I was like, no, I was at another show, but I had a photographer there, like, dude, that dude fucking lit the place up, man. I was like, yeah, that's that's kind of the the vibe I hear everywhere he goes. That like people are like, holy shit, I can't believe what I just saw, you know. Wow, see that, and that's the best way to come up, man, is word of mouth. So that means a lot. You telling me that, man? That's that's the best feeling ever. Well, especially, you know, it, it, being in Nashville, I think sometimes people get in the bubble. And I, it probably, L.A., I think it might be the same way, too, where, you know, you, there's, you're inundated. There's just so much happening all the time, music-wise, you know, that, like, sometimes oh, people yeah. kind of are like, ah, eh, okay, yeah, it's Nashville. We've seen it. You know, we've seen it before, you know. And then, like, when something like that happens in town and you hear buzz about it, you know, three, four days later at a show, you know, and people are like, hey, man, wow. like, did you, did you check out Hyro? And I was like. I was like, I've heard it out there, and Wilson kind of has that same kind of vibe too. Um, so I would like yeah. to see. Hopefully, you guys do something. You know, Chad is, you know, 
That dude is has some pipes, man. I don't know how he sings like that every night. I don't know how he does I it, know, but he does, man. man. He's fucking amazing, man. Well, we did a little tour run with them, too. That was epic, too, man. So, yeah, we all, it's all in the family, man. Hell yeah, man. Well, uh, hi, Roman. Um, is there anything you want to speak on before I let you run here, man? I don't want to keep you too long. I know it's Sunday night, but um, NBA Finals right now. Who, who's your pick, man? Uh, Raptors, Warriors. Oh, man, NBA Finals, bro. I'm going to have to say my, my pick is the Warriors. It's not that I want the Warriors to win. Right. the Warriors. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> I would like to see Kawhi come through, yeah, man. win the Finals. And people would talk about him like he's Michael Jordan, you know. That, so that's insane when, if that happens. Well, uh, as a uh, as a native Clevelander, uh, where I where I was born and raised, uh, uh, yeah. I agree with you. I I, I you know, I, hey man, we we had a, we had like the worst 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 luck possible. We get LeBron, Kyrie, and Kevin Love, and they're hurt the whole first three years we play them. You know, so you know wow. shit happens, man. So uh, yeah, I mean, I I don't want to see the Warriors win, but I, I think they probably will. But they don't have court, home court this time, so I think maybe the Raptors will uh will pinch them there with, with not being able to have that home court advantage they've had. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think Kevin Durant coming back too is you know that's scary with you know for Toronto as well though. So. Well, I mean, they handle it, man. I mean, you come to the finals. Yeah, this, man. Is, this is your only stop right here. You got to go. This is the hardest you got to go. So, yeah, they man. might go ahead and try to win this, man. I'm, I'm right there with you on Kawhi Leonard, though, man. I, I think that dude is outside of LeBron James right now is the best player in basketball, man. Like that, I mean, that guy is unbelievable. Oh, yeah, man. I've seen him young because my little brother, who I'm headed to right now, he lives in Albuquerque. He played for the University of New Mexico. Gotcha. Okay. And I've seen Kawhi in San Diego when they played him, man. And I ain't never seen nothing like that before. He lit the place up. Yeah, man. Easy. You know, so I actually got to see a college game with him. And I knew from that moment, I thought, oh, yeah, that dude's going somewhere. Yeah, it's weird that the, you know, the, the guys in the NBA didn't diagnose him as a top like he wasn't notified as like a top flight guy coming out in the draft that year, and like of course San Antonio, Greg Popovich is like that's our dude right there, you know, and look what he yeah. is. Yeah. Well, you know, he he came from under that San Diego coach. Um, I forget his name, but uh, who coached Jalen and them, I think. So that's right. Um, that. Yeah, he he coached the Fab Five. Um, man, his name escapes yeah, me right now, and I'll, I'll probably remember when we get off the phone here. But yeah, that's yeah, I mean that's that's dating back a lot, you know, way back the Fab Five, man, which is you know. You know, that that's yeah, iconic. Man. That's iconic basketball you right there, man. Popovich and him, man, you gotta be amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt, man. Well, uh, hi, Roman. I, I thanks for rapping with me some sports, man. Sometimes it's always nice. I know you're talking about music all the time and stuff, you know, and albums and touring, and which is always which is great. But it's nice to rap about some other stuff, man. So I appreciate you doing that with me. Oh yeah, man. Super dope, man. Thanks a lot. All right, brother. Well, hey, man. Um, I'll let you run, man. And uh, dude, best of luck to you, man. And, like I said, man. You know, when the new stuff comes to fruition, man, out in LA, you know, uh, stop back in here at the uh, the Revelator Show, man. I'd like to talk with you again, man. Oh hell yeah, I will, man. For sure, man. Thanks for having me, man. Ah, dude, thank you for donating time. It is Hyro the Hero here on Revelator. All right, brother. Peace.